If there's one thing I'm good at, it's racing. There's no one can beat me at that. I never do much people chasing. I get all my wins on the flat. Some mugs go on guesswork and others on press work. The poor devils can't make a farthing. But my motto system, my Toby does wisdom. To me, all the bookmakers are starving. I'd a shilling each way on a nine to two on, and I wired to get the bet laid. Not a sixpence I paid for a tip from Tom Hall. Now I've got to work out what I've made. There were four horses ran, and mine came in third. That's a fourth of the odds they must pay. And two shillings I lost on the 5.30 race. Well, that just gets me out on the day. I've lately fixed up an engagement to perform in the cinema game. If Fairbanks can do well on pictures, well, why shouldn't I make a name? I haven't a fear why perhaps in a year I'll do it on Chaplin and Half. No effort will kill me, they'll very soon bill me at Daville, the world's sweetheart. From a big blazing fire, I shall rescue a girl in a building that's ten stories high. As the roof starts to drop, I must jump from the top to a big motor car passing by. I have to fight 14 men with my hands and feet tied. Then a bloodhound I've just got to slay. And providing they don't think of anything else, that'll just get me out on the day. Now I'm not a fellow who's greedy, though I must say I'm fond of my food. If I don't have enough, I feel seedy. I must eat when I'm in the mood. I'm not like some people one meets nowadays who eat till they're very near bursting. For to eat till your button starts lying all ways is a thing that I think is disgusting. Now I've a friend's wedding breakfast to go to at noon and an alderman's luncheon at three. Whereas a children's picnic at 3.45 then I must take my girl out to tea. I've a dinner to go to at 8.30 sharp, and to supper I promise to stay. And providing I just had a snack in between, that will just get me out on the day. I'm a devil for sport or diversion. I don't care to hang what it is. I could chew the sleeves off an assertion, or drink a whole bottle of fizz. I can sing a good song, play a game of ping pong, but to pee with one shot from a rifle, teach a parrot to swear, throw me cap in the air, or smack the wet top of a trifle. I've just had a round with my friend Roland Todd, done nine holes with Barden for fun. I've just beaten Inman by two thousand up, done ten laps at Brooklyn and won. I've been kissed by the champion vamp of the world, seen a very researchy French play. So if I beat Joe Beckett at Ludo tonight, that'll just get me out on the day. There are lots of clever men, but the ordinary head can take them down a peg. Whilst they're laying down the law, the old chicken in the straw sits her down and she lays an egg. That's all. She lays us a new laid egg. But could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. Could Ramsey Mack and the other clever men do the same as the poor old hen? The hen lays an egg and nobody has ever said that it was wonderful or marvellous or clever, but could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. <laughs> Now the ordinary cat takes bills upon the mat without the aid of knives, and its songs upon the tiles can be heard for thirty miles, and it also has nine lives, that's all, with perhaps two thousand wives. But 
Could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. Could Peckham Rye or even Shepherd Bush do the same as the sweet little puss? The cat leads a life that has nothing else but clover, but with his little tongue he can wash himself all over, and could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. See the flighty little fly jazzing round the apple pie or your bacon, nice and brown. When you slush him with a fork, he will fly away and walk on the ceiling, upside down. He walks on the ceiling, upside down. But... Could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. Could Wellington or Napoleon Bonaparte sit for two hours in a raspberry park? You swear at the fly and you glare just like a trooper, but that wouldn't stop him sitting on the face of Gladys Cooper. And could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. In the wilds of Africa, with his tail up him Ra, the ostrich roams the dales. But a fortnight he will stand with his head stuck in the sand, and he eats horseshoes and nails. That's all, with perhaps a few zinc tails. But... Could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no. Could Henry Ford, out in Oshkosh, Mitch, eat horseshoes like the poor ostrich? It's only a bird, and it's ugly and it's skinny, but on its fluffy part it grows a feather worth a guinea, and could Lloyd George do it? Could Winston do it? Could Baldwin do it? Why, no.